Good morning, Sacred Heart. It is September 30th today, also known as National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. It will be a warm day today, 18 degrees with a low of 4 into a cloudy weekend, high of 18 but low of negative 1. And just a reminder, if you are confused about the mass scheduling today, there is a full schedule posted on the Sacred Heart High School Crusader Spirit Instagram account. Please stand for O Canada and morning prayer. Good morning, Sacred Heart. Today, September 30th, marks the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation. This was created as a response to Truth and Reconciliation Call to Action 80. This day honors the lost children and survivors of residential schools, their families, and communities. Today's reading is from the Gospel of Luke. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Jesus teaches us that we love our neighbors when we decide not to cross the road, and when we tend to their needs where we find them, for as long as it takes. In the case of Indigenous education, the real need is political will, that we would listen and lend our voice to our neighbors. And today we have a prayer for truth and reconciliation. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, we praise and thank you for the blessings of life in Canada, from your natural bounty and from the work of human hands. We ask you to open our ears to the truths about our collective history shared with the Truth and Reconciliation Commission by survivors of residential schools. We ask you to open our minds to the complex and subtle ways that past mistakes, arrogance, misuse of authority, and sinfulness have damaged our social fabric in ways we have barely begun to redress. We ask you to open our hearts that we may continue to listen even when the truth challenges us, that we may understand that we are heirs to a system that has shown itself capable of domination and cruelty, whether or not we personally contributed that we may commit ourselves in all humility to do what we can and support the to restore our ruptured social fabric. Amen. Sacred Heart, have, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hey guys, we are grade 11 students from Miss Comrie's grade 11 English class, and we are here because of National, Truth, National Day of Truth and Reconciliation to explain Pope Francis's visit to Canada. During July of 2022, Pope Francis came to Canada to apologize for the Catholic Church's role in residential schools that had been, that had been created since the 1800s and ended in the late 1990s. Over 150,000 Indigenous people were taken into the residential school system where they had been neglected and abused. 60% of the schools were run by the Catholic Church during, during his visit, Pope Francis stated that he acknowledges the Catholic Church had a role in the residential school system. Pope Francis' visit brought closure to many Indigenous families and their communities. We hope that the information helps all of you in understanding the importance of the Pope's visit to Canada. Over to you, Mr. Dunn. 
Thank you to Ms. Comrie's students as we recognize call to action number 80 from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission today. We approach today with uh, a somber mood, uh, a mood of respect, and uh, with an open heart to learning. With that, uh, we will see you all at Mass later on this morning. And we do have some announcements today. For students looking for support with math at lunch, please come join in the math study hall on Tuesdays and Thursdays at lunch, and that's in Miss Fletcher's room, that's S103. All grades of math students are welcome. This is a reminder to all students in grades 10 to 12. If you have considered joining the Tr Trinity Peer Leadership Team, applications are now due. You can check out the Google Classroom from Guidance for the application form, and that's for the Trinity Peer Leadership opportunities for this school year. Any girls interested in playing Sacred Heart Hockey this year, there will be a brief meeting in room E111 at lunch on Wednesday of next week. That's Wednesday, October the 5th, for any girls interested in coming out for our Sacred Heart High School girls hockey team this year. This is a reminder that all Little Caesars pizza order forms and money are due on Monday, October 3rd. And that again goes to room E111, Ms. Gonzalez's room. Today is Disney Trivia Day. Uh, this week is famous Disney character quotes. You name the character, come and test your knowledge for a chance to win a prize. Don't forget your Disney, Marvel, and Star Wars gear. Other library news, overdue library reports will be emailed to staff and students on Monday. The Student Senate, along with the board, has been able to secure a supply of period products for the washrooms. Period products should be made available to those who need them. They are a necessity and they are not a luxury. Using the products responsibly is a good way to show your appreciation for having them available to you. If you see the supplies are getting low, please drop into resource or you can speak to Miss Legacy. And today is September 30th. Happy birthday today to Summer Michaud and Kyle Zettler. And that is it for announcements this morning. Uh, once again, we hope everybody has a nice day today as we honor call to action number 80 on this National Day of Truth and Reconciliation. We will see you at Mass later on this morning. Take care, everyone.